So let's talk about the Israeli privately founded lunar lander. It sounds ridiculous to just say this, but it's true. The probe is out, landing awaits. Let's go right to the point. Bereshit, the moon lander, was launched by SpaceX Falcon Eye a few days ago. I wouldn't say this is a critical launch for SpaceX, but this mission truly carries the hope and dream of a group of very special people, the engineers at Space IL. If the landing is successfully completed, this would be the first ever privately founded lunar landing, and Israel would become the fourth country after the Soviet Union, United States, and China to land a spacecraft on the moon. Not bad for a tiny nation of just over 8 million people. And my personal congratulations to the engineers at Space IL as I started my career in Israel as an associate of a venture capital investment firm, and it is the passionate Israeli and Singaporean entrepreneurs who inspired me to start this channel. But that aside, this is a more symbolic mission than a pragmatic one. First amazing thing about this launch is that Bereshit is not even the primary payload, which means the engineers at Space IL, on top of building a super complicated machine, has to accommodate the needs of two other payloads, a 4,000 kilogram Indonesian comsat that features electric propulsion and an Air Force research small set that weighs 60 kilograms. This also meant that Space IL can't launch its lander the traditional way. They have to enter into a super synchronous orbit first and slowly raise the orbit to 400,000 kilometers apogee to rendezvous with the moon. Complicated, takes a long time, probably even riskier, but this is the best they can do with the resources they've got. By doing this, Space IL managed to keep the total cost, including payments to SpaceX, to less than $100 million. This is really impressive. Now, how does this orbit raising maneuver work? Well, you start with an elliptical orbit that has an apogee of 69,400 kilometers and a perigee of around 200 kilometers. Let's not go into the physics. But what basically happens is that as the vehicle travels from the apogee to perigee, gravitational potential energy is converted to kinetic energy, which speeds up the lander. The reverse happens after that, but just when the vehicle is at its highest velocity, it fires the engine to increase the kinetic energy, and when the cycle completes, the vehicle will have a higher gravitational potential energy, and therefore, higher apogee. After doing this for a few times, the lander's apogee will coincide with the moon's orbit at around 400,000 kilometers, ready for the rendezvous. Obviously, when you have enough power like the very recent Chang'e lander, you don't have to do this acrobatic maneuver. You can just go directly to the moon, but this is the most cost-effective way to land on the moon by far, and similar maneuvers have also been attempted by ISRO successfully sending its orbiter to Mars after six orbit-raising maneuvers just like this one. The launch only cost ISRO 70 million, so Space IL's mission to the moon is on the right track as well. Before Bereshit meets the moon in their respective orbits, it will slowly decelerate and get ready to be captured by the moon's gravity with orbit insertion maneuvers, of course. Similar maneuvers will be performed so as to land on the moon two months after its launch. I will not elaborate too much on that. I'll leave a few more links in the description down below for those who are interested in the details of the landing. But hey, that's about it. It's a very exciting project. Space IL is doing a great job so far. All the best for the missions ahead. First of all, Mazel Tov. I have a personal uh, connection to Israel as a country as I lived and worked in Israel for over eight months, working and interacting with local entrepreneurs and engineers working in the tech industry. This is another great example of Israel being a technology powerhouse in the Middle East. And uh, hopefully this works out. I mean, let's be reminded that this mission is still in progress and we're still two months away from the landing of uh, the Bereshit. Uh, hopefully everything works out. If, if that does, I'll see you guys in two months. Well, let me rephrase that. It definitely will. I'll see you guys in two months.